Hello and welcome to this video on nuclear equations. Today we're going to be looking at the equations involved with alpha to start with alpha decay. Alpha can be represented in two ways. You can use the Greek letter alpha or you can use the nuclide notation for a helium nucleus. So during alpha decay, the helium nucleus can be lost from the radioisotope to nucleus. The nuclide notation here clearly shows what particles are being lost. So this is my preferred method. So the two here shows that you have two protons that are being lost. And the four at the top here shows that in addition to the two protons, you also have two neutrons that are being lost. Using this sort of nuclide notation allows you to carry out the equations that we'll be looking at. So let's look at a worked example together. So here we have americium-241 and it is decaying by alpha decay to become neptunium-237. So, so if you were to be working out, usually you're being asked to work out the radioisotope that is formed. If you look first at the mass numbers, the mass numbers on the left hand side must be equal to the mass numbers on the right hand side. So here we have 241 equals the 4 from the alpha particle plus 237 from the neptunium. If we then go on to look at the atomic number, so for americium it is 95 which is equal to the 2 from the alpha particle plus 93 from neptunium. We're going to move on now and have a look at an actual example that you may get asked to fill in. So here we have uranium and it is decaying by alpha decay to give us this nuclear notation here on the right hand side. So we're going to take it from each step. So first of all we're going to work out what the mass number is then we're going to get work out the atomic number and use that to work out what the element itself is. So looking at the mass number, A is equal to 238 minus 4, as 4 plus A must equal 238, so A is 234. So looking at the atomic number, uranium is 92, so B must be equal to 92 minus 2, so that will give us 90. This number here is an atomic number, and it's the atomic number of X, so look it up in the data book. To give you the symbol for x. Now if you look up atomic number 90 in the data book you'll find that it's thorium which is th. So if you were to write the full nuclide notation you would have th 90 at the bottom and 234 at the top. Looking now at beta decay, beta can also be represented in two ways. So you can use the Greek letter beta, or like alpha, there is a more preferable way to represent it as a nuclide notation. To understand the nuclide notation for a beta particle, you need to understand where the beta particle originates. A beta particle is a fast moving electron which has came from the nucleus. Now, as you know, there are no electrons in the nucleus. The beta particle originates from a neutron which breaks down into a proton and an electron. So a neutron has a mass of 1 and a charge of 0 and is given the symbol n. This breaks up into a proton with a mass of 1 and a charge of 1 and is given the symbol p and our beta particle which has 0 mass and a negative charge the symbol E. So as you can see here the mass has not changed from the left hand side to the right hand side so the mass of your radioisotope will also not change. 
However, the radioisotope has now gained a proton, so it will actually go up one for the atomic number, so the element will change one to the right. We are going to be focusing on this particle here, the beta particle, and we're going to be representing it as the note by notation. So again, a worked example here. So in this example, we have lead 212 decaying by beta emission to give us bismuth 212. So the mass numbers, very simply, 212 on the left hand side is equal to 0 plus 212. So we've got no changes there. The atomic number, we have 82 on the left hand side. We have minus 1 for the electron, plus 83. So 83 minus 1 will give you the 82. So you can see here the bismuth is an atomic number 83, which is one more than what we started with, and that's because of this gain of, an electron, of a proton. So looking at an example where you're being asked to work out a nuclide notation, so we start off here on the left hand side with a mass number of 32. So simply A is going to equal 32 minus 0. So A is 32, so no change. And for B, our atomic number, we're starting with 15. And we're doing minus negative 1, which is the same as adding 1. So our new atomic number is 16. So as before, this is an atomic number. Okay, so look this up in your data book. And this will allow you to find the symbol for X. If you look up atomic number 16 in the data book, you will find that that is sulfur. So that will give you a symbol S. So the full nuclear notation will be S, 16 at the bottom, 32 the top. Thank you for watching my video on nuclear equations. Remember to, sub to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Kim.